Hey guys, um, I just wanted to do a quick video and share with you something that has been on my mind today. Um, have you ever been disappointed, felt disappointed? Um, I have. I've endured some disappointments this week even, and disappointments can be very sharply challenging. And I was reading a book, this is a really good book by the way, uh, by Eugene Peterson called As Kingfishers Catch Fire. It's basically a collection of his sermons and they're really, really good. And the one that I read today was on Isaiah 61 and uh, he pointed this out and it was it really spoke to me and I, I wanted to encourage you all with it because I, I know that we experience disappointments. I don't know what your disappointment is today, but undoubtedly there is some kind of disappointment because uh, life can be filled with them sometimes. And So in Isaiah 61, this is actually... Uh, What's happening here is that the people of Israel, God's people, have are mourning because they have been in exile in Babylon because they were unfaithful to God, and then they got the land back. But man, it was in rub it was rubble. It was completely not what it once was. In extreme forms of disappointment, and to those people, God says this, uh, chapter sixty-one, Isaiah chapter sixty-one, verse one. The spirit of the sovereign Lord is on me because the Lord has anointed me to proclaim the good news to the poor. He has sent me to bind up the brokenhearted, to proclaim freedom for the captives and release from darkness for the prisoners, to proclaim the year of the Lord's favor and the day of vengeance of our God, to comfort all who mourn and provide for those who grieve in Zion. So uh, first of all, here the words of the Lord uh, spoken over you in your situation you may recognize that text and if you do it's because it's probably because it's the same text that Jesus was teaching and reading from in Luke chapter 4 right after the temptation uh, in the wilderness with the devil and then he faces off with the devil and then after that he's seen teaching and this is what he's teaching on and he's saying this is talking about me he said in fact he said it's this text is fulfilled in your hearing today um, because we find it in Christ which means that what what is about to happen here in Isaiah 61 is available to all of us through our relationship with Christ. And so he says this, to comfort all who mourn and provide for those who grieve in Zion and to bestow on them a crown of beauty instead of ashes, the oil of joy instead of mourning and a garment of praise instead of a spirit of despair. Um, what well, Eugene Peterson pointed out and I thought it was awesome. So you got to recognize in that, in that section how often the word instead is used. It's used three different times and that's because there are three different exchanges that God makes with his people. The first one is to bestow on them a crown of beauty instead of ashes. Ashes were a sign of mourning, extreme mourning, and a crown of beauty was like the fullest joy that you could ever experience. Uh, the oil of joy instead of mourning. I love this, what Peterson said. He said that that tears dry up the face, just dries you up. And the oil of joy brings the skin back. And it's just it's such a healing, healing exchange that God makes there. And then this one, a garment of praise instead of a spirit of despair. In fact, the garment there uh, is a garment that you would wear when you go out to do something. And the spirit of despair is one who just you know is is depressed by the situation and circumstances they find themselves in not wanting to go out and be in the world not wanting to go out and be with people and uh just wanting to stay in their mourning and god says i will exchange that and instead give you a garment of praise uh to go out there and be in the world and to praise to praise the lord and to praise him in all that you do that's an incredible exchange that god makes with the word instead uh, in Christ instead is a reality it's not just a dream or a fantasy that the things in life that are disappointing may be exchanged for something better maybe it's not always the way that we added it up or the way that we thought it would be but God makes that exchange so here's here's what I would like to do here's my challenge to you guys and you know maybe I'm the only one that'll participate in this but we'll see um, I would love to just have a comment string on this post and just to just to create a sentence uh, explaining and, and giving a testimony to something that Jesus has exchanged for you like 
uh, God took my mourning and gave me joy, or God took my fear and gave me love. Like whatever it may be, uh, just God, God took my uh, my discouragement, and instead He gave me confidence. Whatever it may be, uh, I would love to hear your stories. I, it would be encouraging to me to hear those things today, and so I'm gonna. I'm going to see how many people participate. Maybe I'm the only one, but you know what? I'll be encouraged by that too. So um, that's that's my challenge. I hope that's encouraging to you. Uh, in Christ, instead, is a reality. He makes those exchanges for us, even now in this life. Uh, guys, be blessed and have peace.